hey, so here I am. This is a recording on my phone. There's Haley. Sorry if you can hear her. I bought this dumb microphone thinking it could plug into my camera, but it can't. So here we are. But I did want to jump on here and just kind of let you know what you're about to see. So about a year ago-ish, um, we started planning our trip for the AT um, just to hike a section. And then I think you're probably aware of the fact that the world has changed a lot since last fall. Um, and so we started getting ready for our trip in February so that we would have time to plan everything out to get in shape and get kind of used to the whole gear set up and research more. So what you're going to see is starting in February, us kind of training, getting ready for the hike that's going to happen here really soon. And um, you're going to notice that I just stopped recording after a while. Um, so right around April slash June, I think I stopped recording in April um, because I was still going out there on trail, but I realized I needed to spend the least amount of time possible so that I could limit my exposure to people. So I wasn't taking any extra seconds or minutes to sit my camera down and record. I was just going to get the miles in and then leaving it at that. So that's what you're gonna see in this video. And hello, can I help you? So that's what you're gonna see in this video is mostly me and Bug out there hiking and um, kind of updating you on how I'm doing. Just kind of taking you along with me, updating you on how things were going, what I thought about the equipment I was using. Um, and yeah, that's kind of all that it was. And I am planning on trying to record our hike of the AT um, when we go for 10 days. So hopefully you guys will be able to come along on that journey with me as well. And yeah, I just wanted to let you know why there was just a halt in recording and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Today is Valentine's Day and we just got outfitted with all of our gear. Uh, so we're going to go test it out for the first time. I'm excited. We've got a little bit of weight in our packs. So we're going to be using our trekking poles for the first time. So we'll have to see how it goes. I also got my trail runners. So um, we're testing it out to see how we like it, if we need to make any adjustments. And then we're going to keep training until the big day. We just hiked all of that. And now we got to hike up the stairs to practice with our packs. I'm out of breath. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Definitely got my heart going. I know, and now we're gonna, we're gonna have to do it in a, a lot more elevation than this, with a lot less air. Whew. I'm not in shape, clearly. Today was the first day that we used our packs with some weight. We're gonna go home and weigh them, because we forgot to do it when we started. Uh, we're gonna go home and weigh them and see how much we were carrying. I definitely felt the difference of the weight of the pack. <laughs> um, my thighs were burning a lot more, but, um, I think that it's gonna be fine. The pack definitely feels really comfortable and I think it's the right size and everything. I'm trying out my trail runners for the first time and I really like them a lot. Um, definitely rubbing a blister on my right like Achilles, but I knew that was gonna happen. That happens with every shoe. So I've just got to build a callus there. And my trekking poles I definitely like. Definitely helpful. You know, when you're just doing a day hike and you don't have a pack, I don't really see the need as much. I don't feel like I need them, but with that extra weight on my back, I felt like I wanted to hold on to something and I wanted like a stick to be able to help balance me. So it's nice definitely to have those trekking poles. So today is really day one of practicing for the AT. Okay, day two of hiking practice with this little maniac. Um, I have my pack on. I know last time my pack weighed 15 pounds and my dad's weighed 25, so I'm assuming mine weighs about the same. I lost a couple items, like I took a couple items out, but I also have my water and Haley's water 
which I obviously didn't carry Haley's water last time, so um, I would assume around the 10 to 15 pound range. Uh, yeah, so hiking lo lolly right now, not the whole thing, but um, a part of it. And hopefully trying to get Haley more acclimated to behaving on the trail. Uh, she doesn't seem to give a shit about treats, which is not good, but we'll work on it. You won't be able to see it, but uh, my shoes are now completely soaked all the way through. I'm squishing every time that I walk because there was like an already established river crossing, but people were on it. So I saw another one that was, you know, the path less traveled. And um, I thought, no, we, Haley and I can do it. We can do it. She doesn't mind water. We got this. Yeah, Haley had other plans. I think it was too cold. All right, let's go. Come on, we can do it. Good girl. Good job. Look at that. Good job. Come on. Come on. So, uh, yeah, now I'm walking in soaked shoes, but I guess that would, um, prepare me for if it was raining one day. Uh, it's definitely not helping my blister that's forming, having a wet shoe and a wet sock, so. It's like 40 degrees outside right now. I worked a 12 hour shift yesterday and got like maybe four hours of sleep. I don't know if this is gonna record properly. Um, I'm so fucking pissed because Haley and I got a little less than halfway done with the trail we were just walking and my phone spazzed out and decided to stop working. I don't know what was wrong with my phone. Um, it just like freaked out and I was recording on all trails and like my recording's gone now. Um, I only recorded 1.1 miles but I know we walked way more than two and I know we gained a lot of elevation because we went up and down some like really steep hills. So even though it was a paved path it was like pretty, pretty difficult. Um, so I'm pissed because my numbers aren't recorded. <laughs> going across the bridge um it's like a one and a half mile loop I think come on come this way oh potty break um so far not the biggest fan it's really muddy um granted it did rain last night but it's like squishing around in the mud um and it's also right next to the road like you can probably hear the cars going by in this video so I mean I don't really appreciate that either um, but it is right by Swift Creek Ethan baby you like the water hi uh, so that's nice um, I was hoping to do come on let's go on this way to do two laps of it today can get three miles down but if it's all gonna be this muddy then I'm not sure I won't be able to do that I mean it's really like we're out here like in a bog so yeah look all I'm saying is the path split in two one way was up the other way was by the river and Haley chose the up so I guess we're really gonna get our elevation in today huh yeah, it's tiresome, huh? Let's go. You chose this one. Oh, we got a long way to go. You see, we just hiked up that mountain, hill, ridge line, uh, all the way up, slippery and muddy. Um, yeah, I don't think you can tell in this video, but it was a struggle. So all those stairs 
We just came up the way the trail loops around. Now we have to go down them. Um, I was, yeah, I mean, look at that. You could just like fall down there to your death. <laughs> um, I was hoping that I'd get in three miles today doing two loops around this um, trail, but no thank you. <laughs> um, I think it would be fine. It just wasn't so muddy, like I might come back when I know it hasn't rained for like a week. But right now, I'm about to get up to the steps and um, you know, just a little concerned. We just got done doing a 5.8 mile loop, which is the most we've ever done in just one go. <laughs> I'm definitely tired. I feel like the worst part is my feet rubbing against my sock. So I might have to, well, I don't have like hiking socks on. I just have regular socks. So I might have to just go ahead and get a pair of hiking socks and practice in those. But I think it might start to rain soon. So it's good that we got done when we did. Did you have fun? Hopefully Haley will be tired after this one. <laughs> Do not eat that. <laughs> so hot out here it's like in the 70s and there's not as much um shade as i thought there was going to be so kind of roasting out here but i did jump off the trail for a second and let Haley get in the water so she would cool down get that one no you want that one you almost got it get the other 
Come on, baby, get that one. Get that one. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> We just finished 5.4 miles in the sunshine. Um, it's like 73 degrees outside. I didn't think it was going to be so not covered on the trail. It was very much sunshine on my face 24 seven. Um, but we did get to get that mileage in and like almost 600 feet of elevation, which is pretty good. And Haley got to go swimming in the lake. so fun. I think I'm figuring out I need to be a little more sure-footed because both hikes lately I've like twisted my ankle a little bit and I need to not do that <laughs> and I also need to be better about drinking water and eating before I go and also during the hike because I'll start to get that like dehydration hunger headache which is not fun so yeah and some of you guys might wonder like why I'm bringing Haley with me on all my hikes even though I'm not bringing her up to hike the Appalachian Trail and that's because I'm five foot two and small framed and Haley's just like a security blanket for me because I feel like people are a little less likely to try something with a 50 pound pit bull next to me <laughs> so she gets to be my partner plus I know she loves it Today is March 18th. I don't know how many miles we're gonna do today, maybe four or five. Um, coronavirus has really shut everything down basically at this point. Um, my job closed, Matt is working from home. So I don't know what that's gonna mean. I was saying that I don't know what that's gonna mean for us going hiking in the next few months, but as long as I can drive to a trail and access it, we'll be training. I ended up getting a very severe reaction to poison ivy on my legs um, and couldn't really walk. 
so I'm doing better. Still not fully recovered, but obviously good enough to be out here today. Um, we're walking the trail by the lake and it's completely gorgeous. So I'm sure that we'll do this one again. Uh, as of right now, just about every state has issued a stay at home order. So when I come out here, I don't really see anyone ever, um, which is good because the only reason I come out here is A, to train, and B, to not be around people. So I'm trying to be as responsible as I can while still getting the miles in. But yeah, I'll be excited when my legs aren't throbbing from walking because they're all healed. <laughs> Yeah, Misty, come on, go back and see. Don't eat that. 